Hello, and thank you for joining us as we share the findings for our Community Water Needs Assessment in East Contra Costa County. This video will cover the results of our outreach in Pittsburgh and Bay Point. The needs assessment covered the communities of Antioch, Pittsburgh, and Bay Point and took place from 2019 to 2020. It was an open forum for residents to share issues related to water. COVID-19 hit in the middle, so we had to adjust the process. This video is the wrap-up session for the communities of Pittsburgh and Bay Point. The Antioch wrap-up session took place in February of 2020, prior to any shelter-in-place guidelines. Now, I will walk you through our process, what we found, and how you can help in the future. First, I wanted to quickly introduce you to the players, who we are, and why we care about your water. This is an effort on behalf of the Department of Water Resources to ensure the involvement of underrepresented communities in IRWM planning efforts. IRWM stands for Integrated Regional Water Management Areas. There are 12 throughout the state of California. IRWM is collaborative and looks at water management on a regional scale. Multi-benefit projects are a staple, addressing needs from social, environmental, and economic with one project. Our efforts in the San Francisco region are managed by SFEP, the San Francisco Estuary Partnership. SFEP again focuses on multi-benefit projects to improve the San Francisco Bay Estuary. They manage the grant program that has coordinated the work of the nonprofit and government organizations working throughout the Bay Area to connect underrepresented communities issues with potential projects and funding. Contra Costa Resource Conservation District is a non-regulatory special district that works throughout Contra Costa County to facilitate conservation and stewardship of natural resources. A large portion of our work focuses on creeks and watersheds, so this is a natural fit for us. Now let's talk about the process. While this work focuses on the underrepresented communities within Antioch, Pittsburgh, and Bay Point, we recognize that what impacts one impacts all and it would be difficult to single out groups track by track. So we took a multi-pronged approach to collecting information. We collected information using online surveys as well as in-person surveys we administered at community events. These surveys were open to all. We held listening sessions with small community groups where we asked similar questions to the online surveys but could go into more detail. And for these groups, we focused on census tracts classified as disadvantaged communities. The final step is to share what we learned with you all through summary meetings, or in this case, summary videos. The questions for the surveys and listening sessions were similar and focused on three main themes, community, water, and identifying barriers. So what do we find out? Across each community, these are the top concerns. Water quality is something that we received consistent feedback on. Residents are concerned with the safety of their tap water. At each listening session, and in a lot of surveys, we received comments concerning the taste, smell, color, and other concerns regarding tap water. Litter and illegal dumping was another top concern across the region. Contamination of fish and pollution of the Delta is another impact that people are concerned about, especially with those that go fishing to supplement their diet. Aging infrastructure and old pipes and buildings and homes is another issue. This one especially related to the quality of tap water. And now let's talk about concerns by community. Bay Point. The taste and quality of drinking water Again, top concern. Related to this one is pipes and infrastructure, especially delivering water to the home. The cost of drinking water, citizens think that the cost of drinking water is higher than other areas. Exposure to contaminated fish, especially when 
fishing from the Delta or Bay, trash and litter on the street, illegal dumping is a big issue for this community. In Pittsburgh, residents are concerned about hard drinking water and the impacts from drinking it, bathing in it, and watering their food and animals. Again, infrastructure and old pipes delivering water to homes, trash and stormwater and creeks, illegal dumping, water conservation, education programs for water conservation, waste management, and other resource issues that would encourage broader participation from residents. So what are the next steps? The Contra Costa Resource Conservation District is developing a resource guide so that when there are questions, the right agency and the right person can be contacted. There was a regional effort in the San Francisco IRWM to develop a tap water testing protocol. That way residents can answer questions regarding the safety of their tap water. The Resource Conservation District will continue working to connect residents to resources to address their water issues. I want to say a special thank you to all of our community partners for contributing your voices to our surveys and for participating in our listening sessions. We really appreciate your help. The next few slides are responses that we received to our online and in-person surveys. It shows the concerns of the community and the barriers that they have identified to addressing them. If you see any areas that we missed or have information that you would like to share, I encourage you to reach out to the RCD. Thank you.